Hey folks, we are back and it's not a new game again. I know, I know. Well, the problem with new games, uh, it's that it's difficult to test it, benchmark it and you know, test it with different settings, I guess. So, I just moved on and now I'll be just showing you these old games because I know there's no point of showing them. I mean, whatever settings you do, the graphic card would run it. It's come on, that's good. It's GT section, it's good. So, I don't need to do much in this video, just play the game a little bit and show you a little bit and increase another video in my YouTube channel for a quick look at graphic settings. We have graphics quality high, actor detail high, texture detail high and virtual in case of cause I don't think there's any use of it and force global lighting was off by default so I didn't touch it and by the way I changed the resolution to 720 widescreen and I keep this resolution for uh, you know that default purposes I mean everyone if they are using widescreen doesn't have the maximum same resolution but 720 is best for beginning so I keep it at 720 so nothing more to do here let's just go into the new game and to be sure I haven't played any any part of the Bioshock series and I know that's kind of lame but I haven't played that and so I'm starting from first isn't that great and here we are getting okay they it's told just me. a video so we don't need to Son, see this thing you're special you were born to do great things can we skip this cutscene you know what they were right Hey, that was a quick, big <laughs> a prologue or whatever, but game doesn't show the title so early, but this game shows. It's gotta be different. And, you know, I'm not entirely switching to these old games. I mean... It's difficult to get the new games, they are big and I have to download them and all and then test if they are working or not. So, I, I will be doing new games but until the gaps between the new games, I'll be doing these kind of old games because they are quick to download, quick to test, benchmark and upload the video. So, here are the old games and maybe some of you would download these old games if you haven't seen their gameplay and see it here. So we are in water with fire all around, I guess we have to swim there and here we are getting an FPS around, it's not stable, it's around 30 to 40. Okay, we have to get on that weird looking tower and seeing the scene I suspect that my plane crashed in the middle of nowhere with darkness all around. Yeah, that's right. And the graphics quality is good. I mean, Bioshock, yeah, it's a great game. I have heard that, seen the gameplay and all. So here we are at the highest graphics quality and we are getting around 30 FPS. I mean, obviously it would be greater if I would not be recording. Well, we can increase the FPS by reducing the graphics quality if you want let's set it to medium okay that didn't did much so I'm just going to switch it back come on I mean we want to play some games on high on GT610 why won't we I don't care about the FPS I'll, I'll obviously give this game a 60 because we can play on above 60 and whatsoever Let's go inside. Why is it so dark? Hey, 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 don't close the door. Oh, oh. No gods or kings, only man. Okay, I am a man, so what? And a weird looking statue of some man I don't recognize. What's written here? And I can read it. And it's odd thing for GT610 gameplays. 
In what country is there a place for people like me? Andrew Ryan. Okay, he must be Andrew Ryan. And now, where do I have to go? Okay. Mm, most probably here. Yes. Ooh, it's a spooky kind of place. I don't know what's coming next. Uh, should I go in? Wait, the sound is low, very low. I should increase it till three. Maybe. Now it seems nice. Ah, now it seems good. Now, okay, let's get inside. Okay, we are underwater. Underwater. Okay, 10 fathoms deep. 18 fathoms. Who built this place? It's freaking awesome. Okay, what what was that? Oh, we got a little show for us here. Okay, this Ryan here I'm was an industrialist. Ryan, and I'm here to ask you a question. Go Is on. a man not entitled to the sweat of what of his brow? Okay, I know something. Says the man in Washington, it which brought up that poor. thing. No, says the man in the Vatican. It belongs. My volume buttons apparently bring that in. God, that's great. No, says the man <coughs> in Moscow. It belongs mm -hmm. to everyone. Okay, so it's a story-based game, and I am not getting anything from this story. What it is about? Instead. I chose something different. But that's nice. I chose nice. the impossible. I chose. Oh, whoa, whoa. Hey, an underwater city. Th yeah, that's cool. The that's cool. Would not be in the sense where the scientists would not be bound by petty morality. So, apparently, a plane crashed right at the space over an underwater city, sweat. and we got to see that. Wait, 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 I, no, we are not crashing. But who built this place? Maybe that Ryan guy. Okay, so Bioshock 1 is underwater and the later series are above the water then. Or maybe this one's also above the water, just not yet. I don't know. I'll see. Not you people. Well, I have seen the gameplay of Bioshock Infinite, all good things. Okay, there's of this earth flow into the city. Okay, yeah, this means I am a good thing. What's that? Nothing. So, yeah, I was talking about Bioshock Infinite. It has a great gameplay among the top games and all. So, I'm hoping to get the best from Bioshock 1. Use right mouse button to toggle between weapons and last minute. Okay, so we are saving for our first gameplay and game is saved. How do we get out? Okay, someone's coming. Wait, okay. I think he's killing. Ah, oh, that's bad, that's bad. bad. Who is he? Is he a human? I don't think so. He has a hook and that is what the game wanted us to see. Oh, he's coming towards us. He's coming towards us. No movement, no movement, no movement. No, no, there's no one. Just go away. Oh, gosh. Wait, is he cutting it? Oh, yes, he's cutting it. Now what? Now what? Don't cut it. Please. Wait, what's happening? He went off. Now what? Can I break through in here? Okay. 
I picked up the radio. Okay, apparently this Atlas guy is here to save us. We can read about that, that's good. Quite a chamber, a weird looking place of some kind of inventor, I guess. Again, spooky. Oh, 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 god. Uh, I didn't know it was a horror game. I mean, yeah, it has some ugly monsters to kill, but this horror, I'm not very good at horror games. Okay, who is he? I just hide. Okay, he's killing. No, they're fighting. What? I need to find a crowbar. Okay, there's a wrench. Okay, we can swing the wrench. Well, I am just closing the video. It's I, I mean, I'm not a gameplay YouTuber. I'm just here to show you the gameplay on GT6 and, and you get the point. Obviously, all games around this era, about Bioshock era, will run like a charm on GT6. So, there's no point of question, no point of video. We'll just finish the video here. So... Thank you guys for watching the video if you enjoyed it or if you gained something from it obviously maybe you don't didn't so give it a thumbs up and i'll be taking off bye bye namaste so click the white button to subscribe to the channel and then maybe you can click one of these videos to check them out they are really cool and awesome